What is up, guys? Welcome back to 25 High. This road is pretty rough. I feel like I've rattled my truck to pieces every time I come down here. But um, I'm in the woods. It's like 1:30. Uh, I my plan originally I was gonna come in, maybe do a little squirrel hunt, and uh, do some scout and look for some uh, look for some ducks, look for some buck sign, all sorts of stuff like that. And I saw something interesting on my way over here. I was probably five minutes, less than five minutes away from the entrance to this WMA. And I sort of glanced off in this cow pasture and lo and behold, I see a deer. So I slowed down a little bit and look, and sure enough, it is a big old buck. So of course I did what everybody else would do. I turned around just to get a better look and it was in the woods by this point, but I saw a doe. All I can assume is there was a, uh, all I can assume is that since it's mid-January, that's about when the rut's supposed to be down here, he was chasing that doe or locked on her, hanging out with her something. So now my mind just like flipped like a switch and I'm, if it's rut, if it's that, if the rut's going off that good, five minutes down the road, then I might as well just deer hunt. So I don't exactly know where I'm gonna go. Uh, I've got a couple areas down here where I know there's some does, where I know there were some does. So I really, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna drive around a little bit, see if anybody else is down here. It's the day before a gun hunt, so I don't really know. Uh, I don't know if anybody would be out here since it's archery only right now, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna look at some maps. Uh, try to, I haven't been out here in like two months, so I don't really, I don't know. But yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna try to find us some deer and hopefully shoot one tonight. Y'all stay tuned. All right, it's pretty windy, uh, kind of on and off type stuff. And I've got two, places I want to check out down here really I've got more than that but two like big air two main areas I'm like those two areas should hold some deer and uh, I was coming down here and I think it rained let me think it rained like Tuesday Monday maybe I don't know it rained recently like a few days ago but it rained somewhat recently. Okay, there's some boot tracks. All right, it rained somewhat recently, but and since the rain, it seems like there's only like one set of truck tracks back here, maybe two. So not a ton of people have been back here yet. Um, and there's no truck down here right now, obviously, except for mine. But there's a food plot that's only like 75 yards from this gate. I wanted to come check out. Probably gonna, I definitely should have grabbed my boat just in case I get lucky, but um, one thing about public land is deer don't come to the plots a lot at all during the daytime, but you can learn a lot from looking at the tracks and they're looking where they come from. Uh, I'm trying to line it up with stuff on the map, uh, looking at what type of signs around them, all sorts of stuff like that. You can learn a lot from plots. All right, so I've done some scouting. I've looked around a little bit. I haven't gone more than probably 150 yards off the road so far. And I've basically just been riding around this plot, but I was walking through the plot. I was kind of not giving up hope, but I was like, I was kind of set that I was gonna go down to the back left corner of the plot and then take a left and find something thick back there and sit until I came around the right side on my way back to the truck I came around the right side of the food plot and I found a set of buck tracks I'm pretty sure it's buck I mean I that's what it seemed like and it looked like a buck kind of chased a doe what was that I think a limb just fell but it, it, it looked like a buck kind of chased a doe out the back corner of this plot and so I walked through there and it was like so thick. And I'm like, this has gotta be, this is like the thickest stuff I've seen out here. There's gotta be a lot of deer in this thick stuff. 
So I was walking through there, started finding some beat down trails, some pretty heavy trails, like right off the road and stuff. Found a little bit of buck sign. I found one tree that was like probably that big around and it had just, it had been hit real light. So it seems like a buck might've like just moved into this area to chase does is my assumption. Now I really don't know what I'm talking about, but that's <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, that's what I would assume. I'm also looking at the maps and stuff and knowing what I, the little bit I know about this place, uh, I've seen a lot of deer near water. So there is a river that like circles this place. It's basically a giant peninsula. But uh, it seems like a lot of these deer associate with like sloughs or ponds or big puddles or something. Looking on the map, in the direction that those deer ran through the thick stuff, there's a slope. It's like 800 yards off the road, 850. I don't really want to walk all the way back there. But I feel like if I get like, if I can get kind of between this thick stuff, I don't know where it ends because I didn't walk for too far. I probably got, like I said, 100 yards off the road. But I'm thinking maybe if I get like, if I can find the back edge of this stuff and set up kind of between that and the slough, I feel like I have a pretty good opportunity at something. So I'm rambling a, a little bit. Let's just get in the woods. I unintentionally kind of got between almost two bedding areas, it seems like. So uh, I was coming down here and there's almost like a dry slough bed, like just a dry low spot. And um, I looked and there's this edge right here and it's like open in that dry slough bed and it gets really thick right here and then right here in front of me this thick edge it goes like this and then it kind of dips in kind of you know what i what i kind of noticed was i was coming in and uh this spot what i could from where i could see it it made the most sense but like 30 yards, 40 yards before I got here, I saw this super heavy trail and fur out here. I mean, it's nothing insane, but I mean, it's a pretty heavy trail for out here. And I'm like, why are they walking here? It doesn't make any sense. And I was like, well, I'm just gonna go check out that other spot anyway. And this spot, I wasn't seeing near as much stuff, like near as much good stuff. I mean, there's still some, certainly. I was kind of disappointed in how little stuff I saw over here until I started easing out, following that trail back out, and I see this big splayed out track. And I followed it, and it just, it was trailing some does, it seemed like. The wind's pretty much hitting me in the face. I mean, it's swirling a lot, because that's what it does down here. It's really thick in front of me, really open behind me, and there's quite a bit of old sign here, like your old sign, historical sign. All I know is uh, it's thick in front of me, open behind me, big boat track, lots of dough tracks. So, and the wind's kind of hitting me in the face. So, I hope at the very least it is an eventful sit because, I don't know, I, I've barely seen any deer this year. It's just, it's been such an off year for me. But, either way, we're going to see what the evening holds. I'll stay tuned.
Looks like I missed that deer. I had my view. He was about 25. He was about 25 and I had basically to split my 30 and 20. Basically, I put my 30 on his, like this far above his belly line. And I don't know, it looked like he dug the dang string. Worked out perfect there. He chased five nodes right to me. Um, I might actually have only one step up. So, I might actually climb down here a minute and just check. Just make sure I missed and then get back up because very likely another buck could come through chasing does. Or follow trailing. guys a little bit of an update um i'm i don't know i'm not convinced i missed that deer let me see okay that's better i am not convinced i missed that deer um i don't know i'm i'm just bummed because like i can't find my arrow everything went perfect and i feel like i messed it up and i don't know I just, I'm going to go, I got a zoom thing to do right now, and if I go, if I try to go back and, like, head back, then I will, uh, I'll lose service on the way, and then I'll be out of the class, all that mess. So, I got to do it, like, right here on my phone, and then I'm going to head back and watch the footage on a big screen on my computer, and maybe come back tonight maybe come back in the morning maybe not come back at all i don't know it depends on what what it looks like but on the camera screen it looks about freaking perfect but what i saw looked like it went over his back and i i just don't know i can't find my arrow and it should be literally like right there like i looked all over the area that it should have been i was watching i looked at the camera and like cross-referenced everything i saw and like i lined up everything there's not there it's just not it might be buried under those leaves i don't know but hopefully this footage will tell me something good i walked like 20 yards down the trail that he went and i didn't see any blood but also like he kind of eased he ran like 40 yards maybe 30 yards and then started walking i thought that was weird but two things number one either he's not or three things actually he's either not that spooked or he wasn't either he was either not that spooked he i made a bad shot like a gut shot or something or it's the heavy arrow things. I am using like a 500 grain arrow with like some insane like 20% FOC or something. And I've seen a lot of videos where deer do that. They act like they weren't hit. So I don't know. 
I, I feel like I'm giving myself too much credit now, but I don't know. I'm going to go watch this footage. I got to do the Zoom thing, and then hopefully I'll give you guys an update. All right, guys, so I'm editing this video right now. Um, it's been about four or five days, I think five days, and I'm over the mess, but, well, I should probably, I should probably back up. So, first off, from my perspective, what I saw, it looked like the arrow was flying perfect, and that deer ducked so much, and by the, air time, by the time the arrow got there, it, like, deflected off his back. It, from my perspective, I could, I feel like I could see the arrow headed perfect, and then he ducked so much, and then like you know when you hit a target high, like you hit a bag or a 3D target, and it like bounces off its back, it almost like deflects a little bit. That's what it looked like. And then I went back and watched the footage, and the first couple of times I watched it, like the arrow's flying dead perfect like it, it was going to be like right in the crease like perfect shot and it almost looked like it did that it was a perfect shot and the deer ducked after the arrow got there but that doesn't make any sense or else he would have reacted to the shot so more watching more watching more watching and looking and i don't know i i just feel like i'd bounce off his back and then you can also see and I was thinking, like, how in the world did I miss high? Because, like, even if he ducked, I sh that arrow should have been, it should have hit him, like, in, in, in the lungs at least. And then when you watch the footage, there's something that I didn't notice until after I had gone back, which I did go back and looked. I searched everywhere for that arrow. I looked for at least an hour. I, I dug up, like, I turned over all the leaves in, like, a 20-yard circle, pretty much, around that deer. Never found my arrow. You'd think white fletchings would stand out in brown leaves, but they don't, apparently. Never found my arrow. Don't know where it went. But in the footage, two things. Number one, behind the deer, you can see a tree fall, or like a little stick fall. So I'm 100% sure that my arrow got to the other side of the deer and hit that. And I'm pretty sure what happened was it when it hit that or anything else behind the deer, it probably like deflected like way off its original course and then ended up under some leaves somewhere else that I wasn't even looking. And then the other thing is, before the arrow gets to the deer, I had to shoot like, I had like a, probably a bigger than a basketball sized hole that I could shoot through. And I think I was holding just a little bit too low on some of those branches trying to, trying to uh, squeeze it through too tight of an area and I I think it might have barely deflected off of a limb on the way to the deer and that's why it went higher than it should have I think because in the footage you can see like halfway to the deer before the arrow gets there there's like some limbs and vines and stuff that start shaking only thing that could have happened is my arrow hit some of that so all in all all this to all this to say I missed the freaking deer but some good news. I've got a really, really, really exciting video coming for you. Should drop next Tuesday. So, y'all stay tuned for that. It's a really awesome video. I'm over the mess. Um, I'm getting back after it. I've shot my bow a good bit. I'm actually using a backup bow because that day I actually noticed that one of my, or the day after that I actually noticed that one of my cables is broken. So, or about to break. So, my original hunting bows out of commission I'm using a backup bow and for my bow hunting stuff but I've got a really cool video coming up two actually two pretty cool videos but one in particular should drop Tuesday so y'all stay tuned for that thank you guys for watching always in the middle of life 25 I click the links in the description the subscribe button all that and yeah